Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalents in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see how to repeat the same action on multiple variables. So if we get to do that using arrays in data step of SAS, we'll see how to replicate that in R Tidyverse package. So let's say we have this input data set in which we have data for a few patients in which we have three date variables, the informed consent date, enrollment date and randomization date. So in which the date variables have the structure of date followed by three character month followed by four digit year. And these components are separated by hyphens. Let's say I want to replace that hyphens with a space on all three variables across all the rows. So how do we do that? So here we need to, we can make use of some function like translate to replace the forward slash with a space, but we need to repeat the same action on three different variables. So how do we do that in SAS? So we will make use of arrays. So the basic syntax of arrays is to define a short name for the variables that we want to uh, act upon. So here in this case, I want to uh, perform same action on three variables, which is ICDT underscore raw, ENRLDT underscore raw and RANDT underscore raw. For these three variables, I am temporarily giving a short name called RVARS, RVARS, on which I and, and within the square brackets, I am specifying star, which means it counts the number of variables which are given here. And then we are making use of a do loop to repeat the action on these three variables. The syntax is we are looping it from one to dim of R vars. So what does this dim function do is it actually returns the number of variables specified here in the R vars short name. So as we have specified three variables, dim function when it up when it is applied on R vars. So it returns the value of three. So technically this is becoming do i is equal to one to three here. So if, say for example, if we had another date variable and if we had specified it here, dim function would return the value of four. So in that case, the loop would run four times from one to four. So in the next step, what we are doing here is, so instead of referring each variable by their name, so we are referring them by the short name and their position. So when the loop is running for the first time, the value for i would be one. So in that case, so what would happen is the value i would be used here. So when we say r vars of one, it would go and act upon icdt underscore raw. When it is running for the second time, when the i value is two, so it, the r vars of two goes and fetches the variable which is specified in the second position in this array statement. So here in this case, it would be enrldt. So when the loop is running for the third time, it goes and checks the variable which is specified in the third position. So in this case, randdt underscore raw. So we are dynamically fetching the variable names. So using the short name and the looping variable. So here we are looping it three times. And on the right hand side, what we have done is we are again processing on the same variable r vars of one. So when it is one, so it becomes r vars of i when it is one, so it refers to ICDT raw on which translate function gets applied. And the syntax of translate function is to what character we need to replace and then followed by the character which we want to replace. So we want to replace forward slash with a space. So this loop runs three times, once on each variable and replaces the forward slash with a space on all these three variables. So how do we replicate this in R tidyverse? So we have something called as across function within mutate function. So how does this work? So we are creating a data set named ENRL01 using ENRL MENT, which stands for enrollment and passing that on to the mutate function. We know that mutate function can be used to create or modify, create new variables or modify existing variables. So within the mutate function, we have something called as across function. So across function there, it takes two arguments. The first argument is the list of the variables. And the second argument is the function that we want to apply on these three variables. So whenever we are using across, we will have to make use of the tilde symbol here so that it 
the function gets applied in all the three variables here. So list of variables, the function name, and before that we need to specify the tilde sign and then the syntax for this. And the additional thing that to note here is that we need to specify the dot which stands for the position of the variable. So it runs three times as we have specified three variables. First time it takes the value of ICDT raw and the second time it takes the value of ENRLDT raw and third time with randdt row. So we will have to specify the first argument with the dot sign. So it uses these three variables one at a time. And then the uh, equivalent of translate function in our tidyverse is str replace underscore all. So the syntax here is a little opposite. So here we specify the replacement first and then followed by the find value. But here it is the find value and the replace value. So here we are replacing all instances of forward slash with a space. So and this actually repeats it on three variables. If we have a fourth variable, we would just add that here. So this is how we can replicate the concept of arrays in our tidyverse. Now let us move to the demo of it. So let us have our SAS session and our session side by side. So let us try to create this enrollment data set. I am using F3 button on my keyboard to submit the code. I have created that data set. So let's open the enrollment data set. Here if we see, in I, we have three variables, ICDT raw, enrollment date raw, and randomization date raw. So these, in these values we have slashes. So which we want to replace with a space. So let us now come back and then see. So as discussed in the slide, so the syntax is that you need to give a short name for the array and then specify the names of the variables and then use a do loop to process across all those three variables. So and also we are making use of dim function to uh, get the number of variables listed on the array statement. So and within the do loop we are making use of the translate function and we are dynamically applying it on each of these variables using the array reference and then replacing the slash with a space. So let us execute this piece of code and then see. So let's open ENRL01 now. If we now see here, so the, all the forward slashes are now replaced with spaces on these three variables. So let us now try to execute the same here in R. So let us try to create our input data set first and then let us take a look at that. So here we have forward slashes in these three date variables, ICDT raw, ENRLDT raw and RANDDT raw. So now we will try to execute this piece of code which actually replaces the slashes with this one. So we will need to list the variables using a C function. So we, whenever we are passing a list, we need to make sure that we are passing them using this C function. So, so that this becomes a list. And then we are uh, mentioning the function that we want to apply in all these three variables. And we also need to make sure that we have to specify this tilde sign. So let us execute this code and then see the ENRL01. So if we now take a look at the ICDT raw and all the other two variables, the forward slashes are now replaced with spaces. So this is how we can replicate the concept of arrays in our tidyverse package. Thank you for watching and keep learning.